In today's video guys, we not only defeat the Mega Abomination, but we also complete the final boss fight for Act 3 and even found the Ray Gun Schematic as well. Honestly, doing all of these alone is hard enough, but to achieve all three in one video is beyond insanity. So starting off, let's jump into the battle with the Mega Abomination. And straight off the bat guys, I can tell you now that this beefy boy is not someone you want to mess with by accident. He is incredibly overpowered and what makes this even more mental is I thought we was actually taking on the standard version of the Mega Abomination, but half Way through the fight i realized we was actually dealing with a high value target meaning his health bar gets juiced and he's even more overpowered plus i've seen people use a tactic where they actually bring the mega abomination outside of tier 3 into tier 2 to make things a lot more manageable however we wanted to challenge ourselves a lot further and we decided to actually fight him inside tier 3 and actually managed to take him out. Now, yes, we did go into tier three juiced up ourselves. I had an epic gun, which was actually pack a punch to level three. And I also had shatter blast equipped along with other necessary items like perks and whatnot. But to be honest, that doesn't actually make you overpowered in the slightest. I mean, what I had equipped is almost the bare minimum of what you actually need in that zone. If your plan is to actually survive as long as we did. But yeah, I'd say his attacks were very dangerous, and with the zombies being tier 3, one slap pretty much broke all three armor plates. So it's completely ruthless in that zone, and I would definitely suggest going in with a team of at least three, just so that you have support if needed. But if you don't have a team of three, you can also go in with a team of two like we did, you just need to make sure that you actually both communicate very well, and of course you have a decent setup like we did. Now after we actually killed the Mega Abomination, I believe we got around 800 XP for it. Now I've actually heard people say they only got 250, but to be fair, I wouldn't be able to confirm as our Mega Abomination was actually a part of a contract. So of course additional XP gets applied on top. But yeah funny enough we actually opened up the reward stash and all I got was elemental pop and a medium backpack which is a complete violation in my opinion. As we actually spent a good chunk of time on the boss and the rewards were just not worth it. But obviously just because I got rubbish it doesn't necessarily mean you would get rubbish. I mean you could pull the ray gun schematic or you could even get another high value item. It's completely random you just need to get lucky. Now after we finished up the fight we actually decided to go a step further and we thought you know what let's go ahead and try and run another contract so we went ahead and chose an outlast contract and honestly i kid you not upon completion this is where we actually found the ray gun schematic now unfortunately i wasn't recording at the time because my intention was to record the mega abomination fight and of course do the final boss fight for act 3 however if i knew in advance that i was going to get a ray gun schematic of course i would have never stopped the recording and that's why no matter what if you're a content creator my advice is always to keep the camera rolling because you never know what's around the corner. But yeah, massive shout out to Custom Zombie News on capturing the footage because without that legend, all we would have had is a picture of the schematic in our backpack and now that he recorded it, we actually got both, which is awesome. Now, in terms of the actual boss fight, I'll be honest, I was expecting it to be a lot harder than it was, but then again, our loadout was very, very strong and we had a really good tactic as well where I actually took one side of the map and my teammate took the other side and as we were shooting the main boss we would just take turns simply throwing a decoy that way the zombies wouldn't actually bother us too much but even then they were only tier 2 zombies so it wasn't exactly that hard since our loadout was already mad overpowered but yeah once you kill the main boss fight you get a really cool cutscene and you get rewarded with the new special zombie skin for the ripper which actually looks amazing like I'm not even joking this whole experience from the very start of the game to the end it honestly just couldn't go any better like to do all three in one game like i said at the start of the video it is just insane like you don't do that you don't go ahead and take out an abomination get a ray gun schematic and then go into the end boss fight and complete it but yeah that is pretty much the end of the video i just wanted to essentially show you what i went through over the weekend and you know i couldn't keep it to myself you know if i don't tell you guys i can't tell no one so i just wanted to kind of put together a video showing you what we kind of went through how we did it what do we actually get um, and kind of a little bit of proof because I know some people have been going around claiming that they've actually pulled the Raygun schematic and whatnot and not actually showing any proof of it. So this right here, you can see that we got it. There's proof. We did everything that I said we did. And overall, it was just a great experience. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and run off the video there. If you enjoyed it, please do go ahead, smash the like button, comment down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.